Some Bartlesville band students are getting more than they bargained for out of a trip abroad. Right now, more than 200 teens and their chaperones are back home in Green Country, but that's not the entire group. Jenna's reporter Dan Perlman is live at the airport tonight to tell us what happened to the rest of them. Yeah, guys, you know, right now, some of these Bartlesville High School students are getting off a plane. Literally, as you, as you speak, they're coming down the hallway and about to come through the security clearance right over here. But about 30 of the students are still in Ireland. That is because they were scheduled to fly out on Lufthansa Airlines. But some of the workers there are on strike, so they're still in Ireland. Travel agents are right now trying to rebook them. In the meantime, they are just getting some extra sightseeing. And back here in Tulsa, though, many of these students who they traveled with are getting back into town, as I just said. The group you're looking at here landed about an hour and a half ago. More flights are scheduled to get in through the night. Choir, orchestra, and band students were in Ireland to perform. They had several concerts. This is a look at the marching band performing in the St. Patrick's Festival Parade on Sunday. More than one million people watched this live or on TV. I spoke with some of the students about what this was like. There's nothing like it. There's absolutely no way to describe it. It's just incredible. It's something so special that very few people ever get the opportunity to do, and it's, it's very humbling to be given the opportunity. Now, I spoke with a mother on the phone tonight whose daughter is still in Ireland. She told me, again, the kids are having a great time. They're just getting a little extra sightseeing. And now I just pulled somebody over who just got off one of those flights. First of all, I need to tell, ask you, what's your name and were you in the choir, band, or orchestra? Uh, my name is Kevin Harrison, and I'm uh, in the orchestra and the choir. All right. Now, I, know, I heard you actually probably had two or three concerts while you were over there. I had two concerts with the orchestra and two with the choir. So you were a pretty busy guy. Yeah, I had a little bit of time. What, what was it like to perform in another country? I'm guessing you've probably never been there before. No, I haven't. Uh, it's just a completely different atmosphere. Just playing in, especially in the cathedrals over there, was just, it's a fantastic space that you, you just can't get almost anywhere else. And tell me about the sightseeing. Uh, it's an amazing piece of architecture. Just It's beautifully done. Everything is just everywhere you look is something new and it's just hard to beat. Great, Kevin. Well, first of all, welcome home and thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we are going to stay out here and get some few more shots of these kids as they get off the flights. But again, most of them are back. 30 of them should be coming home, hopefully within the next couple of days. Live in North Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you. Dan, thanks. There's probably worse places to be than Ireland around this time of year.